Hi Year 11 and welcome to your lesson for today. Just a reminder that today we do have a Teams call, period two, so just make sure that you're keeping an eye on the time for that one. For today's lesson, you will need your booklet, turn to lesson 15, we might do some flicking back to lesson 14, um, but you also need a pen and paper and make sure that those distractions are out of the way. And yes, I mean those phones. So the first thing I want you to do is pause the video in a second, because what I want you to do is complete a topic throwback okay, for this Instagram post. This could be anything that you have learned about how the orchestra has changed over time, about music theory. It could be anything about the classical, baroque or romantic orchestras, but also thinking about key composers that you've looked at and also Ina Kleiner as a set work. Pause the video now. Give yourself five minutes to complete that. A little bit of a throwback then to last lesson. I know that this felt a little bit rushed, so what I wanted to do is give you some more time with this today to be able to continue your research on composers from the Baroque, uh, Classical and Romantic period. Now, what I think would be really useful to do is throughout this time is to listen to as many pieces as you possibly can. What I mean with that is make sure that you have a variety of different composers that you've listened to from the Baroque, Classical and the Romantic era, because you will be able to listen to more and the more music that you listen to, the better. Pause the video now and give yourself 10 minutes to complete this. Now, turning to activity 15.2, it'd be really useful for you to be able to know what these keywords mean. So I want you to find the defi definitions for the following key words. Ornamentation, dynamics, homophonic, adagio, andante, ternary form, scherzo, quartet, chamber music, rondo and chromatic. For some of you, you might be able to notice these and be able to do this straight away. But for some of you, that might take a little bit of research or some of them might take a little bit of research. Pause the video now, because what I'd like you to do is to be able to answer those. Give yourself four minutes to identify those keywords. OK, let's just really quickly go through this then. Ornamentation is anything that is added to the melody to create decoration, often used in Baroque music. Ideas such as mordants, turns, trills are all examples of ornamentation. Dynamics is how loud a piece of music is or how quiet a piece of music is. Think of your Italian terms, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, piano, fortissimo, crescendo, diminuendo or decrescendo. Lots of words that you have in there. Homophonic, remember, is a um, texture keyword. It means accompanying parts with the same rhythm as the melody, sometimes also classed as melody and accompaniment, but they are ever so slightly different. Adagio is a tempo keyword, and that means slow. Andante, another tempo keyword, but that one means at a walking pace. Turning form is to do with your structure. Remember that is ABA, a piece in three sections. A scherzo is a vigorous or light or playful composition. A quartet is obviously a piece of music made up with four instruments. Chamber music is music composed for a small group of instruments. Rondo, remember, is that return. So the, there's a subject that keeps returning. So we would depict that as A, B, A, C, A, D, E, etc. And chromatic is using every available note, okay, from one to the next. So if we were going from C to um, E, we would get the chromatic between that would be C, C sharp, D, E flat, E. Really nice work, everybody. Well done. Just before we have our lesson then for period two, I want you to start looking at a couple of websites, BandLab and MuseScore. Now MuseScore you've used in school, but BandLab you haven't used before. BandLab is very similar to GarageBand in the sense of how it works. All you need to do is you need to create an account using your school email address, and then you're absolutely set to go. It's really quite self-explanatory, but if you do need any hints and tips, there's some really good YouTube videos on how to use BandLab. I want you to just start creating a composition. We can use this as evidence if needs be. So actually do put quite a bit of effort into it. And I want you to write three smart targets for as you're going through. If for whatever reason you can't complete that composition on BandLab or MusiScore, I'd like you to develop your music theory, 
practice your solo performance if you can but then create some wider listening so listen to three more pieces from the baroque three more pieces from the classical and three more pieces from the romantic era and write down as much information about the, each of the elements as you can remember we have our team session next lesson our, on period two so do make sure that you are ready for that with your booklets and any questions look forward to seeing you all soon and good luck <laughs>